Ah, Framburg, a beautiful garden spot by the seaside on the Teutonic Trail. From the edge of town, you can see Kaliningrad. And in the center of town, you can see medieval Gothic structures like the Cathedral Fortress, which the Teutonic Knights built with such pride and elation. It's only about an hour from Gdansk, so no need to worry about the distance traveled. And you'll find yourself on the, the Vistula Lagoon. It's a strip of water that runs between thin isthmus and the Baltic Sea. It's a fine place to sit and relax after you've walked about town and seen the cathedral and the castle, and especially you've seen the burial place of Nicholas Copernicus, one of the great, all-time great, the goat indeed, of examiners of the heavens, astronomers, measurers of the galaxy and the solar system. Torun and Olsten and Framburg, the great hangouts of Copernicus. Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Poland Daily Travel, this time from the beautiful little town of Framburg on the Vistula Lagoon, which is behind us here. I'm joined by Philip Goss and I am as usual, Will Richardson. It's good to see you. Uh, thanks for joining us. Um, Phil, we were talking before about how the Vistula Lagoon is going to be opened up, right? Yes, currently there's a project underway oh. to dig a channel towards Kontorowacja, uh, which is at the, at the base of the peninsula, mm -hmm. uh, to allow for sea open sea access for Elbląg and Fromburg and the Polish section. The reason why that has to happen is because there's an international border between the natural entrance to the lagoon and the Polish ports here. That, of course, is Russia, the Kaliningrad. Yeah, Kaliningrad's district. just down here, isn't yes, it? Yes, just yeah. very close. So yeah. in order to bypass the Russians, they want to dig a uh, canal. It's, it's been talked about for many decades. Mm -hmm. It's finally happening. And uh, that will put Frombork and Elblong on the Baltic Sea tourism map for people in sailboats who, and that's not a small number, who can then come and have more to see in Poland and have direct access to these wonderful areas. Yeah, what what was Fromberg's position in the old days here on the lagoon as opposed to why why be here and not in Danzig or Gdansk? Well, why did they create this big cathedral and castle surrounding? I don't know the history of the uh, founding fortress. of Malbork, but in any case, when the Teutonic Knights were trying to control territory and Christianize the Prussian regions, this of course was a territorial expansion project, and they had. Their castles were one day's walk away from each other, or that's the answer. And okay. the opposite sides yeah. of the rivers, or if you stand in the yeah. same side of the river, a one day's ride. Okay. And of course, all castles were visible to one another, so they had a system from the towers which they could use a semaphore system of sorts to communicate messages over long distances in very quick. I did not order. know that. That's very, very interesting. I'm glad I asked the question. So, yeah. So it, it was a visible point. It was a natural harbor, perhaps. So from here to Elblong? No, Elblong's too far away. To, from here to well, whatever, there must be the next point. The next uh, way up is Braniewo. But what about this way? Going back uh, to Perhaps Gdansk. Polsvitsko. Right. That which is at right. high ground. That's right. Which is about midway between here and Elblong. Then you have Elblong, then you have Gdansk. You can see all of this. Very interesting. I didn't know that. Yes. And, when and we look at the... we're 32 kilometers from Elblong. Yes, which is about a day's ride. Yeah. yeah. Or two-day walk. That's halfway amazing. being yeah. Tokomitsko. Now, of course, and then they could communicate through all the, the castles. And then, of course, there's the to the south of us, we have uh, yeah. Paswenk, I think it is, or many others. E each of these is, whether it's along a, a river or whether it's over territory. Of course, here, we're standing on a bridge over uh, a, a small river, maybe this is, on its way out to... It's, well, there's a canal, the Copernicus Canal. It looks like a, maybe a spring that turns into a small stream, yeah? a uh, small river going out. It's beautiful out there. Uh, the, another thing I want to ask you is, uh, um, do they call this the jewel of Varmia in my reading? But I didn't realize that Varmia was here rather than Missouri. Well, Varmia and Missouri are discrete 
region, just like uh, Kashubi and Kochevi are discrete regions. Right. Okay. They're often put together, Kashubi, Kochevi, and mixed up and confused with one another, as is Varmia, Missouri, is kind of one place. It's, for the most part, East Prussia. That's East Prussia, right? Varmia, uh, Yes, and it's the Varmiska Mazurske yeah. uh, uh, Voivodstvo in Polish. Well, they must have had special fondness for this place if they call it the jewel of, uh, and I, of, of the Varmia, Missouri, Missouri region. And it seems to me that this is the biggest cast, cathedral castle, sort of it's, fortress. It's a high ground. Yeah. It's got natural access to water we and right fishing the water. and so yeah. forth. So yeah. lots of things happen right here. It's intermodal in a 14th you century You love to map. say that, that word, do. intermodal, which means lots of different transport. Well, even where we are connects. right here, we have a rail There's a bridge. railroad. And and he's shipping. on the railroad bridge with his camera. And yeah. trucking right yeah. here. This is right intermodal, here. but it's rather old intermodal. And behind us is Russia across the water, where you see these uh, sand dunes. And then the lagoon is going out to through this, this well, Kaliningrad is the name of it, this small part of Russia, which is between Poland and Lithuania. This is the result of Russia wanting uh, a port uh, on the Baltic. And also wanting to close off warm Poland's port. ports. They wanted yeah. to close these off and, of course, limit Poland yeah. as much as possible. Yeah. And, uh, well, Poland or anyone else. They, well, they needed a port. They need because all their ports are frozen. Yes. I mean, unless you go to the far east or you come down. This is why they took Crimea, right? Yes. Because they wanted the port. They just They didn't ask. They just took it. We used to have this, and it was nice, thank you. So we'll have it back. And that's kind of what they did with Kaliningrad, because there's no history of really Russia being here, except under the occupation of Poland. At any rate, yes. Kaliningrad. Yeah. Immanuel Kant was from there. That's Never right. went more than 100 kilometers from his hometown, if even that far. And they, of course, still have, even though it's a Russian university Who now. Who was Immanuel Kant? He was a philosopher. And they have a Kant uh, study center there in Kaliningrad, yeah. formerly known as Königsberg, or in Polish, Krulewicz. Krulewicz, yeah. Yes. Königsberg in German, yeah. Königsberg's a famous name if you're going back in, in history. It was, uh, it springs to mind immediately, doesn't it? Yeah. Of course, Manuel Kahn is one of the great philosophers and early proponents of uh, uh, rationality, modern rationality, yeah? Yes. Dialectics. Anyway, we're here in Frambork, and this is, this is a swell view. Come on, let's look around and go the other way. Come with me, Phil, and uh, we'll show you the town back there. And you can see the people coming out on the pier. There's a boat here. You can jump on this boat. I don't know, 10 bucks, 5 to 10 bucks. It'll take you across to Krenica Morska on the other side, the Polish side, that is. And behind us, you can see a very nice view of the jewel of Missouri, this is the biggest Varmia, Varmia sorry, the biggest castle fortress, uh, uh, sorry, cathedral fortress, uh, and uh, sort of uh, medieval fortification in this part of of Poland. Yeah, as we were saying last time. So, anything to add to that? Not really. Not I really. Think, uh, I think welcome to Frombork. And should we uh, go get some fish? I th there's a fish restaurant here. We saw the actual fishing boats that are just behind us here in the port, and it looks like maybe there's some catch of the day. It, it's Sunday, so maybe it's a catch of yesterday, but we'll see. <laughs> it's, I don't know. I think they... Fish 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 I hope it's not, it's not frozen, is it? Well, we'll work on getting something fish? fresh. I'm right. going to ask them if it's frozen. I don't know what they would have here. Flounder. Do well, you think they'll tell me the truth? You think they'll have flounder? I know they'll have flounder. They'll have flounder? I like flounder. Flounder's good. I could, I could deal with flounder.